Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Shinkley, and this is my Let's Play Super Mario 64 walk. Well, Let's Play Super Mario 64 walkthrough. That makes so much sense. Um, okay, in the last episode we did mission one of the Boo's Haunted Mansion, whatever it's called. And this episode we're going to do mission two. I'd entered it in the last world, so I decided to close the video off there. And this is, um, Big Boo's May go round. So, go into the shed right behind you and you into the world, and destroy the eyeball if you wish, and go down the lift. <coughs> you just need to step on the lift, you don't need to press down or anything. Just step on this. Step. No! Evil music! No! Oh! Evil! Okay. This is the third mission for the 100 coin challenge, because you get all these bonus um, blue coins, which you won't get normally. So, it is really the third mission. Just you've got to make sure you don't accidentally set the star afterwards, because it goes in a position where um, it could quite feasibly, um, you could quite feasibly accidentally collect it. I suppose there is two sides to this, and you could just go, whoa, through the other door. And watch out for that flame, flame thrower, as I nearly died from it. Uh, oh, I, I remember there was a really easy way to defeat the big boozy. I can't remember it now. Never mind. Um, just do any attack on it while it's not looking at you, and it should should go down quite easily. I seem to be making it quite hard, actually. Um, okay, so, I just click the star, and that's the end of mission two. Really short, really easy, and it took me two minutes to do. Why? Should have been shorter than that, why did it take me two minutes? I don't know. Now I see Mario's red hair, which I find kind of strange, nobody has that colour hair. Um, but, let's now destroy the boo again, which is extremely annoying every time. Uh, it it's easily the most annoying world entrance ever. So annoying. Ah, uh, hi, Big Boo's Haunt, le level three, secret of the haunted books. Okay, this one. Ah, uh, Moon, Boo. Okay, <laughs> that was random. Um, there's that Big Boo up there. We'll get into him later. That Moon actually looks pretty cool. Um, okay, so, for this secret of the books level, in one of these doors, uh, yeah, this one, you want to just almost continue jumping, yet be careful of them books. Uh, okay, I've got, I believe, yeah, that one, that one, that one. Okay, top, lowest, and in middle. And, don't know why the wall, oh no wait, it's just the side of another bookcase. Okay, and um, go through the door right back there, and here's your next star. <coughs> really easy. Like all of them, really. As long as you know what to do, it's a really easy game. Well, except for the end, I suppose. It, the end's just incredibly hard. I don't know why they made it like that. But, um, so, just go back into the level again. Kind of repetitive. Um... What is it this time? Seek the ed oh, eight red coins. I don't like these. Eight, eight red coins are easily my least favourite. I just don't like them. But this one's quite easy, I suppose. You can just do the doors in order from left to right, and you can pretty much get them all. Uh, we go for this guy. Oh, got a red coin, and go. That piano kind of freaks me out occasionally. Especially considering I've actually got a piano in my house. Yeah, I'm not musical whatsoever. It was my mum's when she was younger, so just decided to keep her, I suppose. Um, no, don't do that. Uh, thank you. So, what that? Whoa, don't. Thank you, chair. Oh, that'd have been so cool if the chair glitched through the um, wall and it went into the main room with me. Uh, nothing in here. Never mind, this is just the money room. Except for the upper floor, there's actually a red coin up there. Well, you need to go up to the actual stairs, obviously, to get it. And I'm not going to risk falling down there, because that's very annoying if you do. 
and I'm just going to go this way to get the red coin. There's no actual red coin in that room, it's just a different way you can get to this room and get that red coin. And that boo's going to kill me um, if I don't kill it first. Okay, now for the upper floors, I believe other than that um, library one, we haven't actually been up there yet. I actually had to stop recording for a bit, so I don't really know uh, whether in a previous mission before that would have been in here. Anyway, um, in here, nope, it's just useless. Okay, that's be useful, which com makes complete sense. Okay, um, nope, wrong one again. Yeah, this is just like, see what's in each door and get the red coin if there's one in there. Now, this one. There is a red coin in here, but be careful you don't fall down. Well, it's not really that hard to get back up, I suppose, so it's no real bad thing if you do fall. But it's just annoying. Oh, right in the corner there, a blue empty block. Um, I'll look at that in a second in more detail. And, um, come on. Thank you. And spin, 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 and get a blue coin from it. Really easy to get uh, loads of blue coins in this mission. It really is. Aye, right, be careful of these, because they can crush you on the bits they come up on, on like here, if it opens. Right, I'll go to... Oh, of course I'm... Oh. It can crush you either if you stand there when it opens, or there when it shuts. So, I'm not going to demonstrate, because I don't want to die. But, oh, there we go, I just demonstrated it by accident. Okay, I get the idea, honestly. Um, but, yeah, there's two red coins in there, and that third one is nothing in it. And, there you go, that blue block. That's a different, I, that's a different, um, thing in there. And I'll, oh. Oh, damn, missed it. Never mind. Um, oh. Two blue coins in this one room. Awesome. Okay, there's the final red coin. And the star appears. Um, not gonna show. Okay, but in the direction that is, you can pretty much guess it's the main room. And, by the way, don't fall down here. It's incredibly annoying if you do, because you go down to that, um, where that merry-go-round is. So it's extremely annoying if you do manage to go down there by accident. Um, okay, there is a way you can actually do this. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not like a secret way or anything, but, yeah, you can actually go up there, and that's for a later mission. Um, there is one of two ways to do it. You can either get that empty blue block when it, you filled it in, and I believe it's actually a, a balloon Mario one, and you can float up, or you can just do what I did. Alright, get the star for that mission, and on to the next mission. So, how many coins there? Plus one. Hmm. Should have got nine more, so then I would have got one, one up. Hmm. Um, okay. No, missed. Yes! How did that even hit him? I suppose when you're, like, turning the sky, getting ready to do the ground pound, that counts as a hit. Big booze balcony. Oh, I hate this one. Oh! I've just realised the way to do it really easily. Okay, I'm going to show that as soon as I get up there because um, it's a really easy way to defeat this big boo, considering the space you move around in is very limited, um, because all it is is a balcony, so it's a very small area. So, uh, do what I just did, if you well, unless you have the blue empty uh, box thing, which I don't right now, because I haven't unlocked it yet, and here is one of these blue things. Like, you really need blue coins anyway, but here it is anyway. Um, oh no, that empty blue box isn't a, um, floating up thing, it's an invisible thing, to make, no, no invisible, go through things, so you can go through this portrait for another, um, another star when it's the next mission, I believe it's mission 6 that that actually happens, alright, this boo does still disappear like all boos, um, but the really easy way to do it is just wait for it to turn on to you, and you don't even have to turn back to it, you just have to ground pound it at the right time, and it um, gets hit. An extremely easy way to do it, compared to the real way, but the hard bit is actually getting up to it. And I'll probably just cut until I've actually got up to it, unless I manage to succeed. No. Okay. If there's an easier way, please leave it in the comments, 
to tell me, because I have no idea how to get up there the easy way. Now, like, it, it's simple enough to get back up, but last time I, um, last time I tried to play this game and actually went on this level, it took me about two minutes to defeat Big Boo, and then about 20 minutes to actually get up there. So I think, even though Big Boo's quite hard because of the limited space, as long as you know the right way to do it, actually getting the star is harder than um, defeating the guy. Well, it would kind of just be the same fight over and over again. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to cut and target up there again and succeed. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, oh uh, yes, 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 I did it. Okay, um, you saw the strategy I did it as. Um, that took five minutes to do. Five whole minutes. And, um, yeah. I'm going to the end the video off here. Mm -hmm.